so about a few weeks ago, um, as I was thinking, praying, being, um, thanking God for what he has done in my life, and just remembering as I do every day how I came to my salvation, how David witnessed me, um, I was just thinking how simple he made it when he witnessed to me. And that thought came to me also later on when I was eating an apple. And I got curious and wondered how many seeds were in that apple. And uh, as I was done, I counted them. I thought I counted like six or seven of them. And then after that, I grabbed one seed and wondered how many apples are in that seed. I don't know if you guys ever wondered that or even counted how many seeds are in an apple. But each one of you guys here can't tell me how many seeds are in an apple. You just cut it open and count them. But can you tell me how many apples are in a seed? It's unknown. It's unknown because that seed may grow or it may not grow. And if it does grow, it can be millions because that seed will produce more seeds, that will produce more seeds, that will produce more seeds. But you still don't know. What you do know is that that seed has the potential of being completely nothing and also has the potential of being phenomenally great. But it's not your job to know. That's God's job. And as I was thinking that, that's what David did to me that day at the gym when I met him. He planted and sowed a seed into my life. He didn't change my life or put a spell on me. He basically said, look, Luis, I know where you've been. I know where you're at. I've been in those shoes that you have been. You don't have to live like that anymore. He basically just opened a door and said, you see what's across that door? You see that light? That's freedom. You don't have to be in that darkness anymore, changed up, isolating yourself, depressed, addicted to drugs. You don't have to be like that. Just go across that door into that light, and that's freedom. And I know that because I went there. And now, obviously, I listened to him. Because, anyways. So, <laughs> and then, so, I believe that that's the job that God asks us to do. To plant sow seeds every day into people's lives. And it's not really the result that happens. It's just the fact that you sowed a seed into someone's life and were a positive imp impact to them. And for me, honestly, that makes it simple to live a life with a purpose, knowing that you have something great to give. And it amazes me how God is starting to use me and uses me each and every day. And he doesn't just choose to use me. He chooses to use each and every one of you. And it amazes me how he takes a small little seed, so small and so significant, and yet still blow my mind with it. And it's still a blessing, e even if you may not know where that seed will go, or you may not even see it sprout in front of you, it's still a blessing to sow into people's life because someone sowed a seed into your life. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here talking, because someone sowed a seed into my life, and God saw that I was ready to receive it, and he grew it. So that's what I am. I'm a seed sower. I can't grow the tree or change the world in the snap of a finger, but what I can do is maximize my day and be faithful to what God has given me to do. And God has given me hope eternally and hope right now. And he has given me the ability to bless people with, to bless people with what I have in my life and give away what I, ha what I have. So I encourage, you, I encourage you guys. I don't do this often. But if you haven't found a purpose in your life or maybe want to add another one, I, <laughs> I give you that guys the opportunity to encourage you guys to take this purpose to plant so seeds in people's life. And I also encourage you guys to eat apples every day because they're healthy for you. <laughs> With that being said,